Hello and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to talk about a story that will break your heart, but also inspire you. Pony's story is a tale of hope, courage, and second chances. It's a story that will break your heart, but also inspire you to make a difference. It's a reminder of the horrific consequences of exploiting and mistreating wild animals, but also a testament to the resilience and strength of the animal spirit. Join us as we follow the journey of Pony, an orangutan who suffered at the hands of humans, but was eventually rescued and given a new lease on life. This is the story of Pony, the orangutan who went from captivity to freedom. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Captivity and Abuse Pony's journey began with a life of captivity and abuse. After being captured in the wild, she was taken into captivity and subjected to daily mistreatment by her captors. Despite her sweet and gentle nature, she was treated like a commodity and was used as a sex slave by her captors. She was kept in a small, cramped cage that was barely big enough for her to move around in. She was deprived of proper nutrition, sunlight, and social interaction, which took a severe toll on her physical and mental health. The abuse she suffered was relentless, and she was left with deep psychological scars that would take a long time to heal. Despite the constant abuse and neglect she suffered, Pony never lost her sweet and gentle spirit. She remained a gentle, loving creature, even in the face of the horrific treatment she received. This only highlights the resilience and strength of the animal spirit and the importance of treating all animals with kindness and respect. The Rescue Mission The rescue mission for Pony was a critical turning point in her journey from captivity to freedom. In 2010, a team of animal welfare activists finally came to her rescue and took her to the Borno Orangutan Survival Foundation. The rehabilitation of Pony was a crucial aspect of her journey from captivity to freedom. After her rescue, Pony was taken to the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation, where she received the care and attention she needed to recover from her traumatic experiences. At the BOSF, Pony was introduced to other orangutans, and she quickly formed close bonds with her new primate friends. She was given the opportunity to live the life of an orangutan, free from the abuse and mistreatment she had suffered in captivity. Pony was given proper nutrition and medical treatment, and she received plenty of love and attention from the dedicated staff at the BOSF. She was also provided with a range of activities and experiences to help her develop new skills and behaviours. As Pony continued to heal and recover, she became a symbol of hope and inspiration for all animals who had suffered in captivity. Her story touched the hearts of people around the world, and served as a reminder of the importance of protecting wild animals and giving them the care and respect they deserve. Today, Pony is thriving in her new life and continues to be an ambassador for all animals who have suffered in captivity. Her story is a testament to the power of rehabilitation and the importance of providing animals with the care they need to recover and lead fulfilling lives. Pony's rehabilitation and new life is a true success story, and it serves as an inspiration to us all. Her journey from captivity to freedom reminds us that even the most broken spirit can be healed with love, dedication, and hard work, and it gives us hope that, with the right support and care, all animals can overcome their past and live happy and healthy lives. Update on Pony Pony arrived at Nyaru Menteng on February 13, 2003, in need of some serious TLC. She was missing all of her hair and covered in mosquito bites. But our amazing medical team sprang into action and provided her with the care she needed. Over time, Pony started to feel more comfortable around other orangutans and was placed in our forest school to learn all about surviving in the forest with the help of our dedicated babysitters. Pony returned from two different pre-release islands. After a couple of years of thriving in forest school, it was decided that Pony had learned enough skills to be moved to the next step of her rehabilitation journey on a pre-release island. When Pony first arrived at Bangamat Island, the technicians who were keeping a close eye on her noticed that she spent a lot of her time on the ground rather than exploring and foraging like the other orangutans. She seemed to be lacking the social skills and competitiveness that were necessary for survival in the wild, and her range was limited as well. However, there was one occasion when Pony was seen crossing the waterway 
that separated the pre-release islands during the dry season, which gave everyone hope that she would eventually start to thrive in her new surroundings. After facing some challenges in her rehabilitation journey, Pony was given a second chance in July 2010 when she was brought back to the loving care of our team at the socialization complex in Nyaru Menteng. Our technicians made sure to give Pony the extra support she needed and even took her back to forest school every now and then to help her brush up on her survival skills. With their dedicated help, Pony was able to make great progress and build a strong set of skills. With confidence in her abilities, they made the decision to move her to the next stage of rehabilitation on the pre-release island of Kaja on 29 June 2013. At that time, Pony weighed a healthy 60 kilograms. On Kaja Island, Pony was thriving. She was showing off her newfound skills, such as being more nimble, becoming a pro at foraging, spending lots of time up in the trees, exploring the forest, building sturdy nests, and making new friends with other orangutans. It was wonderful to see her learning and growing through her interactions with other orangutans, which was a huge change from her previous experience on Bangamat Island. However, after three months of success, Technicians noticed that Pony was looking weaker and less energetic. Upon closer examination, our medical team found that she had suffered sun wounds and was experiencing symptoms of chronic malnutrition and had lost a significant amount of weight. Sadly, Pony faced more challenges as she developed various illnesses and injuries, including torn muscles in her fingers and toes, which required regular physiotherapy to heal. After months of loving care and attention from a dedicated medical team, Pony's health started to improve. In August 2014, she was moved back to the socialization complex where she still lives today. This beautiful female orangutan is now 21 years old and in excellent health, with a great appetite and an enjoyment of the interactive enrichment activities provided by our caring staff. While we dream of the day when Pony can join other orangutans in a pre-release sanctuary island, we also understand that her difficult past in human captivity has left its marks and she may always need our ongoing support. Nonetheless, we remain hopeful for her bright future and continue to provide her with the best care possible. Pony's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of animal welfare and the consequences of exploiting and mistreating wild animals. It's a story that will break your heart, but also inspire you to make a difference. It's a reminder that even the most broken spirit can be healed with love, dedication and hard work. Let Pony's story be a lesson to us all, and let us all work together to protect wild animals and ensure that they receive the care, respect and protection they deserve. Meet Pony, a once mistreated orangutan who has been given a second chance at life. Pony was rescued in 2003 in terrible condition, with all of her hair shaved off and covered in mosquito bites. Our dedicated medical team provided her with immediate and intensive treatment. Pony was eventually moved to a pre-release island where she thrived for three months, demonstrating improved wild behaviors and socializing with other orangutans. However, Pony's health declined and she was moved back for medical treatment. Today, Pony is 21 years old and in good health. Although she may never be able to be released into the wild, she has a chance to live a happier life with the love and care of our dedicated team. So that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get all the latest updates.